This video is going to show you how to make the bracket for the TV. I finished one as shown here so that you know what you're aiming at. Right, to start this, we've we'll opened up Inventor and we're going to click New from the top corner. We're going to make sure that Metric here is selected and that under the part area, Standard MM is selected. When you've got them selected, click Create. The first thing we're going to do is create a sketch of the base of this bracket. To do that, we need to move to the top left-hand corner of the screen and click on the icon above where it says Start 2D Sketch. We're going to sketch onto these work planes here. I'm going to select this XZ work plane. You'll see that it turns white, and when it does, you left-click on it. Okay, so this is now the sketching area. But to make things easier for me, I want to be able to read this word top the correct way around. So when I move the mouse on top of it, you'll see that these arrows appear. I want to click on this left-hand arrow here so that I can read the word top correctly. Right, now I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I want to start by clicking on the rectangle box. And I must start this sketch from this yellow dot in the centre. All sketches will start from this yellow dot. It makes things much easier for you at later points in your work. So to start the sketch, I click once, I move the mouse, and click again. Draw this rectangle to any size, because we're going to put it to the correct size um, next. Right, so now to put this to the correct size, I need to come up to the top here and click on the dimension button. Next, I want to click on this height of it here. You'll see that it turns white. I can left click, then I move the mouse, and the number will appear. So it doesn't matter where you put it, as long as it's got the number on it. And I want to make this 200 millimeters. The bottom length, I want to make 350 millimeters. When we've done that, I want to zoom out so I can see what I've done. So. The middle mouse button, that's the rubber ball in the centre of the mouse, I want to roll that away from me and I can see that this, I can see the full sketch in this now. So I want to double check that I've got 200 in this length, 350 in this length. When you've done that, then you've finished this part of the sketch, so I move the mouse to the top right hand corner and click on finish sketch. Again, this is zoomed in quite a lot, so to zoom out, just roll the middle mouse button away from you until you can see it all. The next stage for this is to extrude this shape here to make a solid model. So I need to move the mouse up to the extrude button and click it. And the distance I want to extrude this is by 20 millimeters. So I'm going to type 20 millimeters into this distance box. When I've done that, I'm going to click OK. And that's that first extrude for the bracket complete. The second thing we're going to do is create the bit that goes on top of the bracket here. So to do that, I need to create another new sketch. And click on top of the top face. You'll see how that's turned white. Again, at this stage, it's easier to be sure that you can actually see this correct way around. So if I move to the top right here and click on this little arrow on the left-hand side, that's rotated it around. I want to uh, sketch a rectangle here. So back to the rectangle button, and again, any size, anywhere, somewhere around about the middle of that. I now need to dimension that rectangle, so I'm going to click on the dimension button. From the left hand of the rectangle, you'll see it's turned white, to the left hand side of the larger rectangle, see it's also turned white. Click on both of them, move the mouse, and click. And I want to put 125 into that size there. I also want a dimension from the top of the small rectangle to the top of the large rectangle. And I want to set that size to 95. The length of this small rectangle should be 100. And the height of the small rectangle should be 10. Double check that your sizes match this. And when they have, Click Finish Sketch in the top right-hand corner. 
So now I want to extrude the smaller rectangle upward. So again, if we go back to the top and click on extrude. And I have to select the sketch now, the smaller sketch. So I want to move the mouse over the center of that rectangle and select it. You can see that's now extruding that small rectangle up. The distance for this one, I want to set to 40. And when I've done that, I click OK. The next step for this is to round off the corners on the bottom of this part. Now, the rounding off a corner is called a fillet. And the fillet tool is up here. So I'll select that. I want to set the fillet radius to 2 millimeters. That's in here. So 2 into there. And then I want to select the top edges of this. And also the bottom edges of this. It's a bit more difficult to select the bottom edges around the other side of this because you can't see them. To make it easier to see them, hold the shift key down on your keyboard, then click and hold the middle mouse button on your mouse, and then move the mouse while those buttons are held down. You can see that this will rotate the model around so you can select the lines that is more difficult to see the first time around. I also want to select the four corners of this, so... And it's, again, I want to rotate this round to see the other corner. There we go. On your computer screen, you'll see that it's previewed in this blue color. When yours looks like this, click on the Apply button and then click Cancel to close this fillet window off. I'm now looking to chamfer the bottom edge of this upright and the top edge of this upright. So the chamfer tool is up the top here, and the chamfer tool puts a slope on the edge. Now I want the slope of this edge to be a distance of one millimeter. So in the distance area, I'm gonna put one millimeter onto there. And to make this easier, I'm gonna zoom in, so I'm gonna roll the middle mouse button toward me, and I'm looking to select this, four edges at the bottom, it's, again, it's difficult to see the ones at the back, so hold down the shift key, middle mouse button, to make it easier to see these, and I also want to select the four top edges, so here, 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 and this one. When you've got those eight edges selected, click on the apply button, and then cancel to close that window. So if I rotate this view around now, you can see that that's me finished adding all the details to it. All I want to do now is add some color to this. To add color to it, you move to the Tools tab at the top. And I'm going to select Material. I'm looking for this to be um, a black plastic. So I'm just going to scroll down this list until I can find one. I can see I've got a black plastic here. So if I move over this, the little up arrow on this, if I click on that right, and then close this window, you can see that that's now added that black plastic to this bracket. This is your bracket complete. You must now save your work. Save your work into your area of the network. To do this, click on File and then Save As. Find your part of the network from this arrow here. If you don't know how to do this, ask your teacher for help.